Today I'm going to do a high current discharge test on this Tesla Model 3 2170 batteries. I salvaged over a thousand of these cells from a Tesla Model 3 module and I plan to have a lot of projects to build different kinds of battery using these Tesla cells and I'm going to use these to make battery packs for my go-kart, electric bike, electric scooter, LED lights and even for a digital camera and the possibilities are endless. The very first and the most important information you need to know before you build any battery pack is how many amps you can discharge this battery before it heats up too much and destroy itself. And for this test I'm going to use a constant current discharge test here and this can go up to 20 amps maximum. And my test is going to be 5 amp, 10 amp, 15 amp and 20 amp. And that's if I can get there. In my previous video I talked about how Tesla was able to achieve between 18 to 25 amp discharge on these cells and that's because they have a heat sink that runs along the entire length of the battery pack and every single cell is being cooled, water cooled by this heat sink but I don't have that luxury when I put these in my own homemade battery pack so uh, this is going to be naturally cool and therefore I might not get up to 20 a.m. or even 15 amps before it heats up too much. We're going to find out right now. Alright, it's time for our first discharge test which is a 5 amp discharge. The actual battery voltage on my meter shows 4.13 volts and here it shows 4.03 volts. So this device is off by 0.1 volts. I want the low voltage cutoff to be around 2.8 volts so I have to adjust this down to 2.7 volts. These are the data I'm going to record will be time, volts, capacity and temperature and I'm going to have 10 points of data. Now let's start with the 5 amp discharge. Increase the current. All right, we're at 5 amp right now, and we'll be back when it's done. All right, it's been running for about 45 minutes, and I have two, four, six, seven points of data, and the battery voltage goes below 2.7 volts, at least on this device, so it shuts off. Let's see if I can restart it. All right, let's just keep going. All right, the system cuts off a little bit early, but I was able to get it almost 47 minutes. So I collected eight data points. And this is not a capacity test. It's more like an amperage test and temperature test. So during the test, temperature started at around 26 Celsius and it's very stable around 32 during the test and it max out at 35 degrees celsius at the end so for a 5 amp continuous discharge test for this battery the temperature is very stable so it's very good at 5 amp discharge let's check on the temperature right now you see there it's very stable around 34 celsius Next test is my 10 amp discharge test. Battery right now is at 4.15 volts and temperature is at 26 degrees Celsius. This battery is about 5 amp hour, so a 10 amp discharge is going to last 30 minutes in theory. Now let's start. And we're at exactly 10 amps. All right, we are at about 15 minute mark and uh, about halfway done. Let me show you this. The voltage on the voltmeter, 3.34 volts. On this testing device, 3.14 volts. So there's a huge difference when it's doing the test. So this 
is not very accurate. And right now, the battery is getting hot. 47 degrees Celsius. So right now we're at about 23 minute mark and the battery is getting hot to the touch. I can't hold it for too long. It's about 50 degrees Celsius. Right now we at about 25 minute mark and battery is about 52 Celsius. 53 Celsius and it's going down pretty fast now so I think we're almost there. Right. Two and a half volts right now. We at about 26 and a half minutes and capacity is almost four and a half hour and I think it's time to stop right here. Now let's check on the temperature of the battery. 57 degrees Celsius. That is hot. Now I can't touch it for too long. So here is the result for the 10 amp discharge. So it started at room temperature at 26 degrees Celsius. And then the temperature steadily increased. And it stable out at around between 45 to 50 degrees Celsius during the middle of the test. And then at the end when it's almost out the temperature quickly shot up to 57 degrees so there's a huge difference between here and here. That means you don't want to discharge the battery all the way to the end because at the end it is a lot hotter than during the test. Next is 15 amp discharge test and this is going to last 20 minutes and we add 15 amps. Let me show you how accurate this tester is. I got my fluke meter here connected. You can see there is exactly 15 amps. We got 15 amps on here, so that is pretty accurate for the current. That is, but the voltage is a little bit off. Actually, it's a lot off. Right now we at five minutes 43 seconds, so almost six minutes in, and the temperature is pretty hot right now so ready 52 degrees Celsius that's a comparison for the previous test at 10 amp at 6 minutes it was only at 37 Celsius now it's 52 Celsius all right we're about nine minutes in and 59 60 degrees Celsius that's hot. I can't even touch it. That is hot. All right, we are at about 12 minutes mark, a little bit over halfway, and 2.8 volts already. Temperature is getting very hot now. 68, 69, 69 degrees Celsius. That is very hot. Whoa! Oh my god! Alright, it's getting very erratic now. The battery is very discharged now. And the temperature right now 73, 76, 76 degrees Celsius. Right here, this number on the bottom. I think we're already there. So I think I have to shut this down. Oh, it's already shut down below 2 volts. So. Alright, let's turn this down and the battery voltage 79 degrees Celsius. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, so that is very close to boiling. Here's the result of the 15 amp discharge test. It started at 26 degrees Celsius and you can see only after 2 minutes it shot up to 36 Celsius and then it continue to increase all the way to the end and it doesn't uh, plateau out in the middle but rather it keep increasing all the way to the end. This battery capacity is 5 amp hour but for this test we only get 3.5 amp hour out of the battery and that's because it heats up too fast 
to a point it shuts down the device. The temperature at the end, 79 to 80 degrees Celsius, that is extremely hot for this battery. This is the reason why lithium ion batteries explode. The temperature builds up too quickly and too much to a point where it increases the pressure inside the battery and to a point where the, the cap, the top part of the battery, does not support the pressure anymore and then it will just pop. So at 15 amp continuous discharge, I think we have reached the limit of this battery. You can see right now the voltage of the battery is at 3.3 volts. If I continue to discharge this battery at low current, let's say 1 amp, I can still get some more power out of this battery. But if I continue to discharge it at 15 amps, the voltage drop is way too much and that is going to shut down the battery BMS or the controller. And that's the reason why you get much less capacity out of the battery when you discharge it at a lot higher current. In my previous video testing the fuses on the Tesla battery module, I talked about how Tesla was able to achieve the discharge current on this battery pack between 18 to 25 amps and that's because they have a trick up their sleeve this heat sink you can see this is a thick aluminum heat sink and it runs along the entire battery module and every single cell on this battery module is cooled by this heat sink and it is water cooled you can see the holes on the heat sink here these are the channels for the liquid to go through and it is very efficient in cooling the batteries. So if you have a way to cool the battery down significantly, you can increase the discharge current of the battery quite a lot. So for my future battery project to be safe, I should only discharge this battery up to 10 amp max. I can possibly push it a little bit more than 10 amps if I have a way to cool this battery. So I'm thinking about using a piece of aluminum like this here. It, this one is very thin. Um, so I can put it between the cells like that. Just like the way Tesla does it on this pack here. But uh, you know it's not water cool so it's just passive cooling. Um, it doesn't have uh, holes on here so I can run liquid through. That's too complicated. This is just going to be passive cooling and it's going to take a little bit of heat out of the battery. That means I can push the battery a little bit further, uh, a little bit more than 10 amps. So here comes the last question. Should I go ahead and do a 20 amp discharge test on my last battery? I just went in and asked my wife's opinion. I asked her if she's ready to raise our son by herself. She said no, so I think I should stop here. And that's all for now folks. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.